coming up next. I, I, I tell people I'm just like the Homer. I'm like Homer Simpson. I'm sitting at the desk with a bunch of uh, computers and I'm pushing buttons, eating, eating donuts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Welcome to the Job Talk Podcast, where we talk with people who love their jobs. Our guests open up about their challenges, surprises, and secrets to success in their industries. Through conversation, we explore their careers, past work experiences, and the education that got them to where they are now. This is the shortened version from our in-depth conversation. Please visit thejobtalk.com to find the full episode. Today's guest is Joel Ratchin. Here's our job talk with the senior gas control operator. Senior gas control operator with ATCO. Can you explain to our listeners what that job is all about? We run the gas system for Alberta on the computer. Um, We work with the field operators and we also work with TransCan Energy exclusively. and we manage the gas system, bring gas into our ACO system and we distribute it and eventually it gets to the communities through regulating stations. I, I, I tell people I'm just like the Homer, I'm like Homer Simpson. I'm sitting at the desk with a bunch of uh, computers and I'm pushing buttons, yeah. eating, eating donuts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's talk about your your typical day what's your day-to-day like when you when you leave the house and go to your shift well we do 12-hour shifts they're six to six or six to six so a set would consist of two or three days on and two or three nights um so you have a day between a a, we call it two four (laughs) but it's a 24-hour break between so you can transition to nights um, but yeah, 12 hour day shift, I would, uh, get there about quarter to six, we hand off from the night, the night people like the night uh, operators. And then, um, yeah, you're just, uh, kind of getting up to speed on jobs that are happening that day, uh, system demands. Um, we have different l- times of the day where the gas load is higher so we call morning load so and definitely in the winter time like when everyone's waking up and getting ready for work and their furnaces are kicking in hotter like we're trying to compensate for that with the system and the night person before you is usually bringing extra gas on so that everybody is supplied properly for the demand it's a lot of it's, it's a lot of forecasting too you're looking at weather trends you're looking at past years where similar weather slash situations were were involved where you can learn from those and then apply to that day. You have made career pivots of, as we've discussed. What advice could you give to somebody that's looking to make a career pivot? Sometimes career pivots are out of desperation a little bit. Yeah. Or you just need to get working somewhere. And some of mine have been just, I lucked out. Some were better than others. Um, Yeah, I just, if you find something that you you think you have an interest in or you don't hate doing it, maybe it will grow into something you like. But nothing ever has to be permanent. I'm thankful to go to a job or, you know, even if I'm tired, I... I get there and I'm like, oh yeah, this is, this is pretty good. Yeah. So, but yeah, pivoting is, I don't think it's an exact science because so many factors can play into how we pivot into a different career. But sometimes you just get to that point where it's just not working anymore. <laughs> gotta, yeah. gotta rethink something because it's, you're just banging your head against a wall. Thank you for tuning in to the Job Talk podcast. For more information, please visit us at thejobtalk.com. Our podcast music was created by our friend Mike Malone in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada.